vintage sisters. I'm Melissa. And I'm Angela. And guess what, you guys? Guess what we're gonna do? Angela, what are we gonna do? You're going to play bingo battle. Bingo battle, you guys. We're gonna <laughs> battle it out bingo style. And you know what? Partly, this is one of the hottest days of the year. Yeah. You guys, we're gonna be in the triple digits. And we live in, if you know, the Pacific Northwest where our east side of our state gets not always triple digits, yeah. right? I mean, they do. Although but they were gonna get up to 117. Those are Arizona type. Yeah. Like you guys, like I saw for here in the Seattle, greater Seattle metro area, 110. Yeah. Hello. So guess what? We're going inside. And part of the issue is that a lot of people don't have air conditioning. <laughs> and I'm a little, if we seem a little shiny, I did put sunscreen on, but it's a little warm. Anyway, so we're going to go to an antique store. Hopefully it has air conditioning. Yes. That's what we're crossed. hoping for, right? We're starting this week enough, right? And we're going to bingo. We're going to battle it out. Yeah, so we yeah. just, we're going to kind of do scavenger hunt slash bingo. We have 25 categories of items we like to source for our Etsy shops. If you don't know, we're Etsy resellers and we love to make YouTube videos. So. Do you want to read just a couple of them? Yeah, but things? I got to get the old lady glasses. Oh. <laughs> you know, I try not to wear them because they slip off my face on hot days. Okay, so some of the things we're going to source, um, outdoor entertaining, uh, under $5 at an antique store, retro 70s. Ooh, what about mid-century dream? What else, Ange? What do you see? Um, let's see. Ra raining cats and dogs. Hmm. Tear tray treasure. That we have be. some friends online that would enjoy that, that one. That could be a good one. Uh, for the young ones. And grandma would be proud. And then because <laughs> us sisters are 80s gals, what about 1980s awesome? Oh, at an antique store. At an antique I store. I hope so. I know. We'll there see. There are a few booths that sometimes that have... 80s, we're 80s. going to an antique store we do like so we kind of know a little bit we thought we better go somewhere we kind of know what they have because yeah. we you know we, we want to be there but we don't want to be there all day although if it's really nice and cool in there I might want to be there all day yeah I know but we are but on we, a time limit we are too. actually so we need to cut this part off we just wanted to let you know what we're doing yep. and this is the big bingo battle card handoff <laughs> so, so Melissa made these cards for us and she's gonna switch them around and then I'm going to pick around. one ready here we go. Actually, I'm not going to turn them. They're going to go behind my back. Oh. She's going to point to a hand. Okay, that one. There she goes. And that's hers. So All how right. it's going to work, guys, is the num the items are on the back. And then these big, for my old eyes, these, these big fat numbers on the front correspond to an item on the back. So as we're shopping, like, let's say we can do one of two ways. We can, well, actually, we will we'll look on the back and we'll be like, oh, wow, I found something at Grandma's house from Grandma's house. And then we'll go over here and we'll see where it is and we'll give it a highlight, right? Mm -hmm. And then the idea is to get obviously a bingo, right? Diagonal, up, uh, horizontal, vertical. And the free space is going to be what? what um, anything of our choosing. Yep. So something that we see that we really want, but it doesn't necessarily fit any of the categories. Because that will, I'm sure that will happen, so. Yeah. I know. Okay. And we're not allowed to do back blackout. <laughs> no, we might be there. That might be a weekend that, getaway. We might tend to want to do that. We, we could easily buy 25 items at an end. Yeah. Store. And Probably. we need to take a picture while oh. we are finding She's right. the so items. So it's going to take a little while. What we find. Yeah, yeah. We do need to show you in the store. Yeah. We'll, we'll, and we'll have those photos added. The video is going to be coming. So yeah. stay tuned. All right. Bye bye. Hey guys, so we're on our way to play bi our bingo battle at an air conditioned antique store. <laughs> However, she. <laughs> well, Melissa dropped her phone in the car, and so I had to pull over. And I pulled <laughs> Sorry. over on the road where there's three garage sales. We're not so lying. What are the chances? <laughs> three. Uno, dos, tres. So we're adding that to our bingo. So maybe there'll be a haul and from this, and maybe not. We'll see. Hey guys, so. Angela's walking up, so we found a few garage sales like we told you, and here we go. We'll see if we can find any treasures for our bingo board, but we still are going to the antique store. We promise we'll have footage from that too. But... Here we go. So we just got back in the car. So we told you that we found some garage sales and you know, this car always, and these gals always stop for garage sales. However, wow, you ready for this? So we walk into the first garage sale and well, the first indication was the closer you got to the garage door, the gal that was sitting in the garage, you, she smelled of cigarette smoke, like reeked of cigarette smoke. And so we're thinking, 
you know, anytime a garage sale like has that smell, you always have to worry about if the items could have the, the cigarette scent. And we, we don't sell things that, that, that smell like cigarette smoke, right? Like, or musty, like who does? Well, guess what you guys? Guess what they had? A whole box full of probably vintage Garfields. Like and a box. Lots of other plush too. I mean, they had, Angela has had Disney Beanie Baby, like the Disney Beanie Babies from the Disney store, right? Yeah. Like with the tag on them, like, you know, the little small. Anyway, there was a, we probably could have, they had Warner Brother, Looney Tunes ones. I mean, we probably could have done pretty well. I mean, we only had so much cash though, but no, you guys, we decided, we decided no because we don't want to deal with things that smell like cigarette smoke. And I'm telling you, it reeked. So, oh well, we're headed to the antique store, so we'll be back. So we didn't have a lot of good luck at the garage sales, but we are headed into the uh, antique store right now. So we're gonna see what we find. And we have our bingo we cards do. already. Stay tuned. That rooster is super cute. Oh, look at the little bunny teapot. I like that checkered one too. I didn't break it. That was Melissa. Look at those vintage green tin container. Look at this, you guys. It's a bread box. And Angela caught the part. <clears throat> I better put my basket down. Sorry. And this caught Angela's eye. Look at those colors. Oh, and I think Angela's had those. Yeah. See, see those containers? We like this booth. This is a good one. Look at bookends. Look at all the treasures. Oh my, look at that corn. Before we know it, it's going to be fall time. Oh, and coming over here. There's my kitty cat. Oh, it's my calico cat and gingham or gingham dog and calico cat. Angela got me something 
How cute for raining cats and dogs. That's one of our themes. Oh my goodness, I might have to have those. Those are super cute. Big piggy bank. Oh, Raggedy in. There we are again. Look at Angie. This makes me think of Misty, Thrifter, Junker, Vintage Hunter. Look, Misty. Angie babies. Are those not adorable? Okay, stay tuned and see how we're doing. Madagascar. Can anyone say Madagascar? This makes me think of my kids when they were young. They absolutely loved the Madagascar movies. So just some more shots of, there's Angela, way Ange, way over there. Hi, Ange, there she is. So again, oh, look at this, you guys. One of the categories is rainbow love. How would that not work for the rainbow love? This booth is 25% off. 25% off in this booth. Cabbage patch dolls. Ooh, it's warm in here. Oh, we like these. Look at these, the winky mugs. Bailey's winky mugs. This is the Angela here so I'm going to show you what I got at the antique store during our bingo challenge so here we go okay so here are my goodies that we got at the antique store um, I got this set of Winnie the Pooh sheets um, for about uh, $25 and I think I can get about 50 for them and look how cute these Cabbage Patch dolls are they are um, Western, a cowboy and cowgirl, uh, definitely from the 80s. And there's this little one too, not 100% sure on the age of that one, but it has a pink signature, so I need to look that up. You can't really go 100% by what's on the tag and what's on the back of the head. Um, it's kind of a combination of several things. And we got a bingo card here and um, these Garfield cards, just a card to say thanks. And I got a Vector's Bach mug. This one is the snowflakes, obviously, from Spain. And look how cute this little salt, pepper, and sugar set is. So that I got for $12. Um, let's see, the bingo card I got for three, the Garfield cards I got for two dollars, the Vector's Bach mug I got for five, um, that old Virginie P. 
peanut crunch tin I got for six. Strawberry shortcake tin. Oh, I think I got that for about five. Um, this little jar here. That was on a 50% off sale. I think I got that for about four. And these little soup mugs I got for six each. The butterfly tea set I got for about 10. And the um, this is a Mary Inglebright picture. It's a frame and then it actually has, it's a music box so you wind it up on the back. So um, gosh, that was in a 70% off booth. I think I ended up getting that for about $5, and I think I can sell it for, oh, about, um, probably $25. Uh, tea set, I can probably sell for $45. These tins, I'll need to look up the old Virginia one, um, but I just love the colors on that one. Um, but I think I can get at least $18 for each of those. The Vector's Bach mug, I think I can get for 25. The cards, I'll probably do for about 14, or I might just use them, they're super cute. The turkey jar, maybe about 25. The mugs, I'll put in a drop down and sell them for about probably 18 each. This set, probably put on for 30. Um, the uh, cowboy and cowgirl, I think I'll probably do them in a drop down option so you can buy one or both and I will probably do those at 75 each. I'll have to look those up though. This little one, maybe I'll do for about 35 and the poo set, probably about 45. So not a bad profit. We love to find things that we can flip for a profit well. So um, stay tuned to watch Melissa's haul after this. Hi everyone, it's Melissa here at Two Vintage Sisters. And you guys, yesterday, oh my gosh, Angela and I had so much fun. We went and played Antique Store Bingo. So we had like these printed bingo boards and all the different random numbers had like an item assigned to them, something we had to try to find. So the different categories were kitchenalia, something from the 80s, uh, something your grandma would have had, mid-century modern, lots of cool categories. And so then we had to try to get a bingo in a, you know, traditional bingo, so straight across, up in uh, horizontal, vertical, and diagonal. And um, yeah, so that's what we did just to, you know, we like to go out and thrift and source for our shops. And we were just trying to find something to kind of change it up and make it a little bit fun. So anyway, so I'm gonna show you my haul and um, I'm gonna actually show you the items and then point to them and kind of show you and tell you what category they were on my bingo board. So I thought that would be kind of fun so you could see what some of the categories were. And then you gotta stay tuned to the end of this video so that you can see who won our antique store bingo. So here we go. Okay everyone, so here is my thrift haul from the antique store where Angela and I went and played thrift store bingo or antique store bingo and so I thought it would be kind of fun to just show you these items a closer. I'll zoom in and then kind of tell you the category they were that I used them on my bingo cart. So we had to like have them fit a category. So, um, so I guess what we'll do is we'll just start and I'm just going to kind of come in and show you and then um, we'll go from there. So, so well I guess we'll just start right here in the front. And see this, you guys, how cool is this? So how many of you know who Kathy was? Kathy is kind of an iconic cartoon figure from the 1980s. So this I used for 1980s awesome. So this is Kathy and it's just a little tin, like pale. I thought that was pretty cool. And then moving over here, this is a metal Celestial Seasonings uh, tin, vintage tin. And I just thought it was super cool, the colors like for summer. And I used this for, I believe I used it for tin. I did, tin or canister. So that was that one. Just love the graphics. And then moving back here, you guys, aren't these bookends super cute? Look at these bookends. And these I used a category called for the youngest ones. 
because how cute would those be like in a child's room or in a nursery? So that's what I use for that. They are wood. And then this, you guys, oh my gosh, my childhood. So my sister and I had these strawberry shortcake baby dolls that blow kisses. When you squeeze their stomach, they're supposed to have like a strawberry scented kiss. So this is my, my item for my childhood. And then moving down here, this right here, I chose Summer Vibes because does this not remind you of summer? I mean, when you look at this, I, I just totally speak summer to me, right? Corn on the cob. So it's the, it's the plates for the corn on the cob and then it's the actual, like a bigger tray you could lay the corn on while you serve it. And then these are the individual. So I just thought that was cool. And then this right here, you guys, I used for the title Fall is Coming because when you look at it, it to me just looks kind of fall-like with like the yellow, like sunflowers and the colors. It's a picture from the 1980s and I just thought it was super cool for fall. And then this one back here, this one I used for Americana style. I know it's not necessarily fully Americana, but the colors and um, just be, spoke red, white, and blue to me, I guess. So I thought maybe I could squeeze that out for Americana style, like in an Americana type decor. I just thought it was pretty cute. And then this down here, I used Kitchenalia, which is just a kitchen item. And it's uh, just lavender, again, kind of summery, and it's just a trivet or like a spoon rest. So I thought that was pretty cute. And moving over here, this is a, a framed um, a framed piece of art from artist Jody Bergsma, and it's a music box. So I use starts with the same letter as my name, because my name is Melissa, and this is a musical picture frame, or musical art print, or because it's like in a stand, and, and it's, see yeah, down on the bottom corner there, it says I'm musical. It, you can give it as a gift, you can like personalize it, and it has a music box on the back. So I use that for starts with the same letter as my name. And then this, you guys, this is kind of a gamble. I don't usually buy stuff like this, but this was like 70% off, so it came down to like four bucks. And it's, a, as you can see, a Bulldog bar set. Like, look, it's a decanter, so this comes off. And it's a decanter and these are little teeny tiny like shot glasses or little little mini drink mugs and it was like four dollars so who wouldn't try to see what I can make off of it I just thought it was kind of different so that's what I used for the category raining cats and dogs and then we found Angela and I both found these bingo cards we each bought one vintage bingo cards how cool is that we were playing bingo and we found these bingo cards so we each purchased one of those. So you guys, that is what I got and what categories I use them for on my bingo board. Just kind of pan one more time. And um, these items will all be available in my Etsy shop. And my Etsy shop is One Vintage Junkie. So One Vintage and the word Junkie, J-U-N-K-Y on Etsy, or you just go to www.onevintagejunkie.etsy.com and you can see all these and all the other fabulous items I have. I think I have almost 1,100 items for sale. So check it out and don't forget to like our channel and subscribe, I should say subscribe, subscribe to our channel and like our videos. If you have any comments, we always like comments. Um, we try to put videos up. We both have been having some issues with our phones, Angela and I, so our videos have kind of lagged a little bit, but we are both getting those issues resolved, getting new phones, and we hope to have many videos coming in the future. So thanks for watching.